If you frequently have others schedule your Zoom meetings for you, it can be helpful to delegate a scheduling privilege. To do that, sign into the Zoom web portal and then navigate to Settings. When you scroll to the very bottom of the Settings list, you'll see down here that you have the ability to assign scheduling privileges. When you assign scheduling privileges to another individual, they can schedule your Zoom meetings on your behalf. And they can add you as well. You do this by adding in their email address. It does have to be someone associated with the university. And what it looks like is this. When you schedule a new meeting, everything else looks exactly the same, except now you'll see a Schedule for option. And you, or whoever's scheduling on your behalf, can select your name. You'll get an email when someone schedules on your behalf, and it will also be added to your meetings menu. The email you receive will tell you who has scheduled the email on your behalf. You can start the meeting right from your email, but if it's for the future date, this will also be added to your Zoom web portal, so you don't need to keep track of this email. If you go into your Zoom web portal, under your meetings list, you'll see the uh, email there as well, and you can start it right from your Zoom web portal. Delegating scheduling privileges can be very handy if you've often scheduled meetings on, on another's behalf.